What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I've been seeing this circulate on Instagram and on uh, on YouTube and different social media platforms, but I didn't really get the, I guess, the full context of what went down with Wendy Williams, basically talking about a a tick talk star, his recent passing. I guess he goes by Swavy, aka Babyface. Basically, I guess she came off super insensitive to the whole situation and a lot of people were outraged by it so i really wanted to check this out because when it comes to wendy williams one i don't watch her show so i don't really care for it two i know a lot of times she be she's very insensitive to a lot of people's situations and what they're going through so it's it's really like one of those type of things like it's a norm for her but i guess apparently she crossed the line this time so we're gonna check this out man and uh, see what she ends up saying, man. Uh, appreciate all love and support. Road to 50K, and let's get into it. Does Norman, neither does one person in this building, maybe Sus does. Uh, Hold on, whoa, whoa, neither whoa. Neither does Norman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I have no idea who this is. Neither does Norman. Neither does one person in this building, maybe Sus does. Uh, do you know who <laughs> Swavy is? Clap. Clap if you know who Swavy is. Okay. Sus? Nah, it's not my, it's not my cup of tea <laughs> that I got going on right now. Well, he's a TikTok star. He's got more followers than me. 2.5 million. Oh. On TikTok. <laughs> on TikTok, but on Instagram, you have more followers. What is this, bro? What the fuck is this? What type of setup is this for someone's death? What? Well, as my son Kevin would say, no one uses Instagram anymore. What? And as, <laughs> as far as TikTok, I don't use that at all. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't want to be involved. <laughs> so here he is. He's 19, and he was murdered Monday morning. Now, according to our friends at MediaTakeout.com, hi, Fred, the killer confessed on Instagram Live. He said that Swavy invited him out and alleges that Swavy and the friends that were with Swavy jumped him and tried to kill him. So he had a gun and did the killing. So. What, what, what? Somebody's dead. Um, the guy who was invited over, he's dead. Yeah, Swavy is, yeah, dead. Swavy is now dead. Correct. Oh. Mm. All those Tragic. followers. Yeah, that's really tragic. Only 19 years old. And by the way, the, um, the friend who came over was an admitted drug dealer. What the f- No what? one in custody. They'll probably never catch anyone. You know, another one of those stories. But mm. what, what is, what was, can someone explain to me how? <sighs> I don't even, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. I don't know the story behind his death, but someone died. Someone at Wendy Williams show decided to bring this up as a topic. The segue into it was super distasteful. That offhand comment, oh, all those followers on TikTok. Now he's dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, what, what, what is this? How? Bro, I don't get it. They're literally, she's really making fun of the situation. She knows that he's dead. 
the audience doesn't know they don't they don't really know and then all of a sudden oh yeah he's dead by the way they're like oh what what type of setup is what type of what is this bro i I don't know what to say, bro. This is stupid. She's stupid for even putting this segment on the way she did. I'm done. I'm done with her. That was, that's very, that's messed up. Whether he was part of the violence or not, whatever the case is, bro. If you're going to bring this story up, at least have some type of respect for the person that's dead. Whether they were at fault or not. Or don't do the story. That doesn't... Just none of this makes sense to me. This... No one really knew what was going on except her. And everyone else that's, you know, working with her team. Like, this was dumb. That's like if someone did a story on Wendy Williams. Potentially, God forbid, something happened to her. She ends up getting killed. And then someone does a story. And they're like, yeah. She had all those, all those followers. She had that show. Now she's dead. Whether she was in the right or in the wrong, that's how they set it up. You'd be like, damn, bro, what, you, what the fuck? That was messed up, bro. That was messed up, man. This is the world we live in. People don't really care about death like that. People don't. They openly mock it or very insensitive to it, not realizing. I'm pretty sure that person had family, friends that loved him, too. Whether it, Once again, whether he's in the right or the wrong or how it happened, People don't care. They don't. And I, I would expect that she would have handled that way better. That was very messed up. I can understand why people were wanting her to get canceled. Granted, she's not going to get canceled. She'd have to do something really, 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 really messed up. Even though this is up there to the studios and stuff, they probably don't find this really messed up. It's making her money. So, yeah. I don't even know what to say, bro. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of disgusted by this. This was disgusting. I didn't like this at all. I truly did not like this at all. And anyone that did like this, something wrong with you, bro. Uh, yeah, comment down below. Let me know, man. Do you guys feel that Wendy Williams was correct in how she set this up or do you guys feel as disgusted as i do about how she literally just played my man's death like it was just some afterthought like ah yeah i don't like seeing stuff like that that literally kind of brought me down but appreciate all the love and support road to 50k appreciate y'all kicking with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace that was stupid